Do you realize that there's only one problem in the world and it's the same problem for everyone? I'm going to explain it to you in a story. But first, if you're new here, my name is Dr. Kat and I use science and spirituality to unshroud the garb of mysticism, bringing clarity to the understanding of who we are and what this reality truly is. When you understand the true nature of reality, you reach higher states of consciousness, which brings more mental, emotional, and physical health. This information is no longer just for saints and sages. The common person is waking up to what this reality is. In twilight, a thirsty traveler approached a village well. Reaching down to pick up the bucket, he recoiled in fear of a big snake. He stood there frozen, not sure what to do, afraid to move, and he was in fear of his own death. At the same time, an old man was approaching the well and he saw this man frozen in fear. What's going on, he asked. There's a snake, there's a snake. The old man burst out laughing. That's not a snake, that's the well's rope. It just looks like a snake in the darkness. So the thirsty traveler was actually never in any danger. He perceived the rope as being a snake, but it was really just a rope. So the only problem that each one of us faces is that we think we're the human and we take the universe to be real. It's real just as a dream is real, meaning we experience it but it's really just as etheric as a dream. And as you start to awaken to this and stay present and s turn on your inner senses, you start to experience what reality truly is. The dream qualities of reality start to become available to you. So the only problem is that we take ourselves to be human. That's the only problem. So just as the thirsty traveler needed the old older man to point out to him that it wasn't what he perceived it was, he then could adjust his eyes and see what it truly was. And when he adjusted his vision, he was able to experience the truth of reality. And that's what we're all doing right now. The science is helping us because the science is showing us just how unreal or etheric I'll say etheric because some people don't like the word unreal because we experience it. So it's real, just like a dream we experience. But where is that dream when you're not focused in on it? It doesn't exist, right? To experience the true nature of reality, it requires being present, very, very, very present. Your inner senses will turn on and you'll start to feel that you'll start to feel this empty space that seems empty. Breathe. You'll start to feel the energy of it. You'll start to feel the energy within your own body, your subtle body, and you'll be able to start to control it. And that will give you the ability to control your own health and your own emotions. But until then, you think of the human and your conditioning is going to determine how you experience your world. But when you wake up to the truth of reality, now you come in as the conscious creator that you are and you determine how you're going to feel, how you're going to think, and what type of experiences, what the qualities of the experiences are that you want to have. You come in as a conscious creator. What are we then if we're not the physical body? We're a body of consciousness. We're an unbounded field of awareness. We are this open, empty space. This is our mind right here. Mind is not in our head. It's all around us. We are eternal. We were never born. We never die. We're unlimited. We're blissful awareness. And when you can put your attention on that part of you, all you have to do to do that is to drop your awareness down into your heart and expand your, your awareness outside of you. So you sense and feel this entire field and automatically you will feel more expansive and automatically your mind will quiet. So you don't have those thoughts that are occurring in your mind that are telling you the story of your past. Now this doesn't happen overnight, it's a process and that's what we signed up for. We signed up for the journey. If you like this content, give me a heart in the comments, like, share so others can benefit and follow me for more tips like this.